into this video guys I'm going to be setting up virtue from scratch from A to B showing you how easy it is to get aim assist on your keyboard and mouse using an emulator in all games especially in warzone now the first things you need to do after you get virtue is obviously either create your own config or B copy a config that is already made I do want to add a quick disclaimer that I am using the newer version with virtue which works if you have uh, 800 dpi you know 1000 etc what I mean by that is the older version you need to have higher dpi in order to make it work meaning that you know 3000 4000 7000 so you know you might want to try both in my case i'll use the newer version where i can use 800 dpi so this is how easy it is to set up virtue obviously you have two choices make your own config or copy a config i'll make my own config because it is so easy and i'm going to show you why now let's create the name of the config and now we have this right here so you have the controller and the keybinds uh you know remap to your keyboard and mouse ones and you have dead zone, horizontal, vertical, and double movement. Now, first, the keybinds are automatically transferred to the default keyboard and mouse ones. Uh, in a case where you want to change your keybinds, just go ahead and please watch this video. It will basically explain how to change absolutely everything in game and in virtue. In my case, I don't want to change any of my keybinds. All I want to do, guys, is since I already have 800 dpi, I'm going to make my dead zone uh, 25. Uh, for those uh, who don't know what those settings do, I'm going to explain now, but if you do want a uh, more in-depth explanation, go ahead and go into the settings explained right here channel, and just please read absolutely everything that is right here. Now, <clears throat> in my case, I'll use 30 dead zone. If you move your mouse uh, very lightly, it will detect it if your dead zone is zero, but if you make it on 260, if you move your uh, mouse slightly, it will not detect it. Uh, for the horizontal and vertical sensitivity, I'm just going to use uh, 75. The down movement is explained here. I don't want to explain that to you guys, just read it right here. So we're basically done with the four simple uh, virtue settings. The next thing, guys, is the key for on and off. This key for on and off, you will basically use to, uh, you know, activate aim assist. I'm going to bind it to seven. Simply by just clicking the save config, I'm going to save the changes and now you're ready to turn the engine on now what this will do is actually add a controller and we will be able to change to a controller input now the only thing that you need to do is change some in-game settings i'll show you all of the settings you need to change first the horizontal and vertical sensitivity i'll put 404 you can put whatever you want you know you can test it second dead zone inputs uh, i'm going to use those dead zone inputs right here uh, usually the only uh, dead zone inputs that you want to change are the first four left trigger and right trigger keep it on zero Again, those settings are already explained in our server, so, you know, you can read. Then we go to aiming and we go to sensitivity multiplier here. This is the ADS sensitivity multiplier, which basically means when you aim your gun, how fast your sensitivity will become. I like to use low, so I'm just going to use 1.3. Next, aim advanced settings, we go right here. Now here, we will tweak the uh, aim assist settings, which is actually quite important. Also guys, ADS sensitivity transition timing, uh, you can read right here what it does. The aim assist response curve type uh, and the aim uh, slope scale, which are maybe the most important settings. Here, with standard, you get uh, more of the controller feeling with uh, more aim assist. With linear, you get more of a mouse feeling with a little bit less aim assist. And dynamic is just a mix of both. So I just use dynamic. And here I put 0 0.90. So that is all the settings that you guys need to change. Literally all the settings. Now we go in game. We cannot move our mouse. Guess what? We have not clicked the key for on and off, which is 7. Now I can move my mouse freely. And wait a second. Now that I turned on my mouse cam, let me just show the comparison. This is, uh, you know... This is me without any aim assist. Excuse my broken mouse, by the way, guys. Now, if we click 7, we turn on the software. This is me not moving my mouse again. I also want to show you what happens when we just ADS. I'm just going to click the ADS button. And you can see it is just like aimbot. I'm not moving my mouse, as you can see. So, um, yeah, by the way, guys, if you hold right click, it will uh, start dropping your mouse. Because that's the Norico macro, even though it is with extremely bad settings, as you can see, this looks like, I don't know what it is, it looks so bad, but that's because I haven't put the right settings. Anyways, guys, you guys see, we have Norico macro, we have, you know, all the macros that you guys need. Also, you saw how easy it is to set up virtue. So if you guys do want to get the emails, you know, join the Discord and check it out.